Hello YouTube, this is Salam. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to properly install the metal face tab of seal. These two guys right here. This is a regular oil seal. And this is the metal face tab of seal. These seals are used in many applications, including but not limited to tractor, bulldozers, backhoe, and other machinery. This seal type is made from four parts, rubber, cast iron ring, cast iron ring, and rubber. This is one seal or one seal set. The cast iron rings are machined and lapped to a very tight tolerance, and this will prevent the seal from causing leak. One part will be attached to the stationary part, and the other part will be attached to the rotary part. For example, this could be attached to your final drive, and this could be attached to the shaft that holds the sprocket. So this part will spin, and this part stays stationary. And because of the tight tolerance on the cast iron, that's what prevent leak. When you install this type of seal, you need to make sure all surfaces are clean and dry. Also, you need to make sure you install the seal correctly. Many times I see people install the seals incorrect. For example, I seen them before where they install them like this. I also see them before where they do this uh, over here. They remove the cast iron and they install it like this. This is wrong and this will lead to leak because if you look the physical form of the rubber when the cast iron install in it it will act as spring and it will put some load on the cast iron so it will be tight. Once you have both parts installed, one on the stationary part and one on the rotary part. Uh, you may have some time to use silicone if uh, the metal part where the seal go is corroded due to rust or scratches or any other damage that caused to them. You may have to apply silicone on this surface and on the other surface and press the seals and hold them in place for a few hours to completely dry before you proceed. Once you're ready to proceed, you need to be very gentle when you insert the parts against each, each other. Don't use any unnecessary force. Don't allow any dust to get in this surface or this surface. You only need to apply a thin film of oil between these two surfaces. You could use uh, hydraulic oil or theory weight oil, just thin film of oil. And then you assemble it gently and then once this in place, this could handle abrasion and other stuff and prevent oil from leaking. This is very good type of seal because if it's go bad, it doesn't damage the shaft or the housing where the seal sit. They couldn't just use regular seal because uh, abrasion, for example, if this is on a bulldozer, sand or dirt could get between the shaft and the seal and it will wear the shaft. So when the seal go bad, you also have to replace the shaft. With this one over here, when it's go bad, you just replace the seal. I hope this video was informative. If you like it, give me thumb up. Thank you for your support. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Take care.